G'day folks. Well, I keep finding more cool uh, kerosene equipment. I'll post a video of this one running shortly, but first I just want to show Brad, V8 Jagnut, this uh, kerosene lamp, because he seems to think he might be able to find a glass for it. Uh, I picked this up at the scrap yard today. Um, I don't think there are any maker marks on it. There seems to be something on that little knob I just noticed. I'll look closer later on once I put it out, but on the body of it, the copper body, there's no markings, nor on this brass top. It's extremely old, it's a twin wick uh, kerosene lamp, possibly paraffin. I mean, as soon as you bring the wick up a little bit, it just smokes like mad. A bit hard to see, but that wick's below flush, like it's below the uh, brass box that holds it. That one's still saturated in what was left of the kerosene that was in it, which was basically non non combustible completely but the other wicks burn you okay snuff still works too and you raise that up it shuts over the top of the wicks and shuts it down but yeah no markings no makers marks very old by the looks of it nicely made but yeah glass wise I'll take a measurement of the inside here and just see what the base diameter of the glass would be because it'll just be a big ornate glass bulb essentially with an open top. Most of you know what an old kerosene lamp looks like. They've just got a big delicate glass top on them and without that they just seem to burn very rich. It's to do with airflow. Uh, but of course the glass is the first thing that gets broken and you find a lot of lamp bodies like this around, but you don't find any glasses for them. So, yeah. Hopefully you can find one, Brad, because I'd like to make this complete. It's seen better days, but mechanically it's fine. Everything works. It's sealed. The bottle doesn't leak. Um, yeah, i just got to take that secondary wick out and wash it and fresh caro and get rid of all the old stuff out of it. Because all I did was just fill it up and run it. Did, doing pretty well, considering there was a lot of non-combustible kerosene residue in there. Anyway, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos. I've got a whole week and a half off work so it should be a lot of fun.